Melissa Meese, and today I'm going to show you six exercises to help you with your balance. First, we're going to start with squats. I've got my squat stand, I'm going to butt myself up, well, 10, 11, so that I can be successful through the entire series. Push your glide board up, bring your feet on, and lay back. Watch your fingers. I'm going to start with a nice parallel, legs together, shoulders back, long arms, abdominal muscles in. Start bending and extending. So super important when you're trying to create balance, trying to strengthen your legs, your hips, your glutes, your feet, your ankles. So you want to always work parallel, internal rotation and external rotation. I'm going to go right into a external rotation, heels together, toes apart. Maintain a nice neutral spine so that you know you're properly targeting those muscles. And you're gonna to open to parallel hip width distance and repeat it. If your knees are going in and out, you'll know you're at a too heavy of a load and you need to lower down your level. From here you go to a slight internal rotation. It doesn't have to be big, just enough to target the outside of that muscle there. External rotation, always remember Imagine your heels coming together, using those inner thighs. And you're going to repeat the entire series on the ball mounts of your feet. Back to parallel legs together, lifting the heels nice and high, making the arch work, strengthening the ankle. Same thing, heels together, toes apart, but still lifted in the foot. Parallel hip width distance, internal rotation, and external rotation. I like to do about 10 to 15 of these, two sets. If you feel like you're getting stronger, move your level up or just do more. Moving on. For the rest of the exercises, you're not going to need your squat stand, so you're going to put it over to the side, and I'm going to come and place myself at a level that I will rename for the last of the exercises. I'm going to stay between a three and a four. Remember, super important to always remind yourself during this, this is not a strength competition. You're trying to create balance. Put yourself up. You're going to grab your handles. Come to the edge of your board. Knuckle down so you don't fall come to a seated kneeling. You can do these exercises this way as well if it's too much for you to go up onto your knees. Otherwise, come up, shoulders back, lifting up through your abs. I'm gonna bring my hands back and I'm gonna reach them back for the tower. So the opposition of my arms reaching back is my hips pulling through my arms. I'm pressing the tops of my feet into the glide board, lengthening out of the crown of my head, and pulling my abdominal muscles in. From here, you're gonna go right into exercise three. Rounding your back, pulling your abs in and reaching for the tower, right back up onto those knees, but open into an iron cross. When you kneel down and you round your back, reaching for the tower, pull your abdominal muscle back. The most time that we have imbalance or we fall is when we're twisting, we're reaching. So train your body in a way that mimics life. Take your right arm up, left arm down. Reverse to the other side. So you're still doing your end cross, but you're leaning with it right back into the center. When you rise up, remember to press your hips forward and lift your chest nice and high. Next, I'm going to let go of my left handle. I'm going to place my left hand at the corner of my board, my left knee at an angle, and my right leg behind me. So now I'm at a kneeling side plank. I'm going to reach my right hand for the tower, shoulders down and back, soft bend of the left elbow, and I'm going to pull my arm across, reaching for the ceiling, and back towards the tower. 
very important in this exercise to be pressing your hips through and forward. Watch that you're not sitting back. Press, lengthen. There should be a nice long line from the crown of the head, the rib cage, and the hips. When you feel like you're getting a little bit better at this, add. Reach for the towel and round your back forward. Pull back and open, looking up. And again, reach. And if you feel like you really have that, advance it up to taking your right leg up so it's not there supporting you anymore. So my leg is up, my shoulders are back, and I'm gonna pull. This is balance at its best. I am putting myself in a position to balance on a moving surface. This is one of my favorite exercises. And you'll repeat this on the other side. Next. Go into an all four kneeling plank, but this time you're gonna take your left leg up parallel to the board. If this is too much for you, bring it down at an angle. It's totally okay. So my left leg is up, my left arm is reaching, and my right arm is reaching for the tower. Abs are in, every muscle is doing its own job. My hip isn't leaning to the right. I'm pulling myself center. I'm gonna pull my right arm back to the height of my hips. I'm gonna reach back for the tower. So lengthening from the crown of the head to the tip of my toe, making sure I'm being stretched and pulled so that when my muscles are building and working, they're working at their best, not like this. I don't want my body to build like this. I want it to be like this and lengthened and stretched. Abs in. It's a great exercise. You're gonna come on up for your last exercise. You're gonna unhook. leg side leg stretch put your right heel or your left heel whichever leg you choose to do first against the bar I'm going to take my left leg back and I'm going to go down opening the board to my knee placing my left foot down onto the board lifting my chest if you are coming out of an injury or you still just don't have balance start with your hands down onto the floor and move your way to your knee and then you'll advance up I'm going to start with my knee my shoulders are back and my chest is nice and lifted with my abdominal muscles in. I'm gonna open up just a little bit more stretching out this hip, engaging my glutes and engaging my back leg into the board. I'm gonna straighten my right leg and bend. Breathing, always thinking of lifting up to the crown of my head. Then I'm gonna bring my arms out to the side forcing myself to work my balance a little bit more. And then I'm gonna bring my arms up by my ears. Honor your body in this position. Don't go beyond what's your comfort zone. Close the carriage, place your hands down, and repeat it on the other side. So there you go. Those are the exercises that you can add into your already existing exercise routine or just do them by themselves. But I wanna leave you with the thought of form, 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 and honoring the body. Try not to push yourself to a place where you muscle compensate, where you create more imbalance, or you have an injury. It'll always just set you back from where the goal of where you wanna be. So honor your body, have a great workout, and see you next time. Bye-bye.